Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Developer JC Songs has been added again with his latest CyanogenMod 10 ROM for the HP Touchpad. One of the most interesting features of this ROM I've got to show you here in the dark. Shh, the touchpad's sleeping. Let's wake it up here. You see here, it has a minus 32 MA battery drain. That's a very reasonable battery drain for the HP Touchpad. Uh, previous build had about a minus 90, so this is just a third of that. This is a huge improvement. In just like three nights, we've had another update. You know, funny, a couple nights, every other nightly unofficial tenderloin build. HP Touchpad signage in Mod 10. Hmm. Awesome. But for just a short period of time, developer JC Sellens has really made some improvements here. I've noticed the desktop is a little smoother. I can scroll through a little quickly, more quickly. Now I'm just going to wait for my internet to reconnect here. That's about how long it takes. Now that we're reconnected, uh, you can see I'm running Cool Tool System Stats. This is how I'm showing you the battery drain and other useful statistics in real time. A great Android application. I'll have a review for that coming up. But I'm going to take it off for now because I want to show you the YouTube playback was quite a bit better. It was quite a bit smoother to load now. I know that was a concern with the last build. So let's try it out. Now we load up the main page. I'm just going to show you some of one of my own videos here. Now I have a full how to install Cyanogen Mod 10 video on the HP Touchpad. Check that out. Right now I'll just show a little clip of a fun little gaming video I did the other night. It's in HD. And it'll just show us that everything seems to be running quickly. The ads are fast enough, aren't they? Come on. Now this is going to be in HD. Ran. Hello, HP Touchpad oh, Gamers. It's quick. time to check out how gaming has improved with this new Cyanogen Mod this was 10. the previous Anything build. Could happen. Here I am. Here's this my is just three days later. We have a new build right there. Pretty quick load time. Let's jump it forward a little and see if it can sync up and how fast it's going to do it. Oh, not bad, not bad. Big jump there. Now this is a huge improvement for just a few nights here on the HP Touchpad. Uh, gonna have to say these unofficial tenderloins are just really working incredibly. You can check this out for yourself. There'll be links in the description. And I definitely check out my how to install Cyanogen Mod 10 video because you're gonna want to do a full install with the Acme Installer 3. If you're already running this, you can just update. I'll show you how to do that now. But I just want to tell you, this is running great, and I'm going to use this as my regular ROM now. I've got my Nandroid backup, of course. Anytime, if you want to test anything out, make a Nandroid backup. I've got a video on that. But if you're already running the Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM, this is how you can update it. Now I'm going to show you through a Clockwork mod. There's also the Twerp Recovery, which is a little simpler to do. So show you the Clockwork mod. Now, the reason why I recommend doing the full install with the Acme Installer 3 is because the Jelly Bean operating system needs a little more space. It's a little bigger, and that Acme Installer 3 will just make the partition 100 megabytes larger, and this will accompany uh, the new ROM so you can try to use it consistently like I've been doing. Now, to install this, you're just going to go through Clockwork Mod, and what we're going to do is wipe our caches. I've already got my ROM and my GFs package onto my tablet here, onto the SD card. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to wipe my cache partition. Yes, wipe my cache, hit the home button. Now I want to go to advanced and wipe my Delvic cache. Yes, wipe that cache. And we're going to go back, install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card, and we're going to find our experimental, for limited testing only, Tenderloin. Click the home button, go yes, install. Make sure you have a an Android backup made before you do this. Very key to have. And I'm going to install the Cyanogen Mod 10 update, and you'll do the exact same. This is how you can do it. If you're running Cyanogen Mod 9, I know this may work, uh, but you really want to do the full install. So make sure anytime you're updating any ROM to clear your caches like I've done. 
And then after this is done, we're going to reflash our GFs package to make sure everything is you know, maximum compatibility, everything's going to be up and running, not going to be missing the Play Store. But this is really running quite phenomenally, and I'm pretty much using this as my main ROM at the moment, although it's you know really quite comparable with Cyanogen Mod 9. Well, Cyanogen Mod 9 also has a working camera at the moment, so you may want to check that out. It's really quite sensational and huge progress with version 8 at the moment. I have a video about that. Check the link in the description. Almost done with our flashing Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM. Then we're going to flash our GFs package. Remember, always wipe your caches. Always have made an Android backup for flashing experimental test-only ROMs. Also check down in the description for the Roots Wiki forum link. You want to check out our thread and the discussion. All the full install information, download links, etc, etc. Now that we've got our ROM installed, we're going to go again to choose zip from SD card. We're going to pick our Jelly Bean GFs right here, the latest one in the description as well. Yes, install. And this won't take quite as long, but it's usually quite a necessary step to make sure nothing goes wrong. Quite a second coming for the HP touchpad. I'm wondering if we're going to see some Keyline Pymon here. One can only hope with the improvements and JC Solins is able to make in three days. Who knows what could happen? Has that developer got some talent or what? Here we go. And we're ready to go. But once we reboot, we're going to need to build our cache up again. So now let's go back, hit the home button, reboot system now. Cyanogen Mod 10, it's installed. Now there's a new signage in Mod 10 boot animation. It's quite nice. Checking that out again. And there'll be a little wait while we rebuild our cache, all our apps. There's kind of quite a few. But this will give you a good idea how long everything is going to take. Signage in Mod 10. Unofficial Tenderloids. What a build. And of course, here's all my apps going through. Kind of got a lot of them. This will be a necessary step if you want to upgrade, because that's what I've done. I've kept my whole setup from Cyanogen Mod 9 doing the full install with the Acme Installer 3. It's the way to do it. Anytime now, hoping for unofficial nightly build since it's mm, kind of happening you could say so to speak in a bloody edge sort of unofficial way check out my full gaming video if you want to see a little more in-depth look at that I'm also tried uh, I tried shadow gun and a little grand theft auto ran about the same but that's actually very good. <laughs> so check out the video on that if you want to see for yourself. Also, you can check out uh, my video. I've got other demo video of this. And you can see the microphone works if you're wondering about that. But no, unfortunately, no camera yet. It's coming. One day. Who knows? Get it working on Side Engine Mod 9 first. <laughs> Almost there. Come on now. And here we have it finally at long last. Signage and Mod 10 on the HP Touchpad. The latest 
unofficial nightly builds. I've noticed it takes a little longer to start up than ice cream sandwich. But really not too bad at all. Some of my widgets are still loading. There you have it. Please subscribe to see more updates like this in the future. Signage and Mod 10 on the HP Touchpad. Thank you very much.